Welcome to the weekly briefings with me Chandni. I am here to offer you the best from women's cricket. In about 4 minutes I'll give you all the top news that you need to know. So let's see what I have in store this week. With the persistent threats of COVID-19 still lurking around, the ICC has decided to allow teams to field their side with only 9 players in case of a COVID-19 outbreak in the camp. This move has been made to ensure that the tournament goes on seamlessly and the board is trying its best to be as flexible as possible in its approach. Further, tests will be done randomly and not before every match, but the teams will be allowed to bring in the travelling reserves into the main squad of 15 in case a player turns positive. Eight women among the 15 match officials for the ICC World Cup 2022. The International Cricket Council maintains that it is committed to supporting women's cricket and this continues to reflect as 8 women officials out of 15 are appointed for the World Cup this year. Let's talk about the first match to get a perspective of how women are in the forefront. In the tournament opener between the West Indies and hosts New Zealand which will be played on March 4th, former South African player Shandri Fritz will be the match referee in the Women's World Cup match for the first time. as will Lauren Egenbag. Sharfuz Dada Shahid will be on field, Alex Wolf will be the third umpire and Sue Redfern will be the fourth umpire. So as you can see, it's an all women's team out there for the first match. Apart from these, the other women out there who will be seen throughout the tournament are match referee GS Lakshmi, umpires King Cotton, Claire Polosak, Elwe Shedden and Jacqueline Williams. Hailey Perry Devine set for the 122022 Mandana and Rodrick Sutton as well. The 100 played in England last year was such a hit that even though the tournament this year doesn't be- begin before August, debates and discussions are already making it to the news. Australia stars Elisa Hailey, Elise Perry and New Zealand skipper Sophie Devine who had all pulled out of the first edition last year due to quarantine restrictions are eagerly waiting this year as all their teams have announced their retention. Perry and Devine have signed up for the Birmingham Phoenix and will be seen in action alongside England wicketkeeper Amy Jones and bowlers Isi Wong and Kirsty Gordon. Indian batters Mandana and Rodrix who have featured for Southern Brave and Northern Super Chargers respectively last year will be once again seen in action this year. Shefali Verma who made her franchise debut last season will not be returning to the Birmingham side. Lastly, defending champions the Oval Invincibles have retained the South African trio of Deneva Nika, Marizan Kap and Shabneen Ismail. For a complete information on the teams, you know where to head. The Women's Cricket Zone website. Otago Sparks beat Wellington Blaze by 138 runs to win the Halliburton Johnson Shield. I've been talking about the HBJ, aka the Halliburton Johnson Trophy for about many weeks now. The tournament which was played in New Zealand has finally got a winner. The Otago Sparks, the top performers for the final match were Otago Sparks Kate Ibrahim and bowler Aidan Carson with a 5 wicket haul. Let's end this week's news update on this high note. Don't forget to tune in to the World Cup inaugural match on March 4th. I will see you all next week with the best from women's cricket. Until then remember to be happy and think positive.